Hi, everyone. Well, it's no secret that cybercrime is on the rise. What I want to do today is bring to your attention a few of the more recent schemes that these criminals are using. They just seem to know who to target, using phishing as a methodology to see who will nibble on the bait. They seem to know who might be living alone or vulnerable for other reasons, and I just want to make sure you don't become their next victim. As you do your taxes over the next month or so, be on the lookout for 1099s that just don't look right. We're hearing of people getting a tax form from the unemployment office for benefits they never received. What this means is that last year, someone applied for and received unemployment benefits with that juicy extra $600 per week using someone else's social security number. Like last year wasn't tough enough. Another scheme involves Amazon and typically goes something like this. A person receives a call from security at Amazon asking if they made certain charges, which of course the individual did not. This one is not just heartbreaking, it's downright scary because the scheme itself is so slick. Without going into gory detail, recent victims are out hundreds of thousands of dollars. And unfortunately, there's nothing they can do to get their money back. So here's the lesson. If anyone over the phone tells you about fraudulent charges, get off the phone and either call the company directly or go online from your computer, enter in the URL and verify. Don't ever click on a link that they may send you. If anyone asks you to wire money for any reason, stop immediately. Yes, these people can be intimidating or dangle a carrot like a huge lottery winnings, but please just don't do it. You will not get that money back. Gift cards are not traceable either. By the way, the IRS will never call you on the phone threatening to seize accounts, nor will they email you. They will only send notices in the mail. Speaking of email, email addresses are really easy to get. So please don't believe someone who tells you they've hacked into your email address. And if you do not comply with their request for money or Bitcoin or gift cards, they'll send emails to your entire contact list or put pictures on porn site or any other myriad of sick threats. One scheme actually does the opposite, convincing the victim that they can help others by helping the con artist posing as an FBI agent to catch these thieves so they can't hurt anyone else. Wow, talk about pulling on heartstrings. These things can be especially scary because they're often sent from your own email address and it looks so legitimate. Remember, it's really easy to get email addresses. This is not unlike someone sending a letter to themselves, putting their own address on the upper left-hand corner. The only way you can know for sure is to look at the postmark and realize that the envelope came from a completely different city. That's how we find out these emails are coming from a completely different IP address, typically from countries like Russia, Ukraine, and others. Most important, please don't comply with any request, no matter how exciting the opportunity or scary the threat. That's where they get you. It's emotional. It's highly unlikely they have access to your contact list, your personal information, and photos. And even less likely, they'll end up on some porn site. Just don't fall for it. And remember, in 2015, Experian's database got hacked and 15 million Americans now have their personal information and social security number on the dark web. That was followed by Equifax's revelation that the private records of almost 148 million Americans was also compromised. Whether that includes you or not, please consider getting a credit monitoring service like LifeLock, Experian, or Identity Force, and maybe even freezing your credit. You don't want someone applying for a credit card, racking up huge charges, and changing the address of record so you don't even realize it. As always, Please know we're here to help if you have any questions. And thank you so much for the trust and confidence you have in me and the entire team we have here at Key Financial.